Yo, 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 it's your boy DJ Blaze, and I'm back with the True Hip Hop Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yo, if y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure y'all do so right now. All right, y'all, we just finna just dive right into this hot content, man. Yesterday in Source News, Dr. Dre is selling a bundle of his music income streams and some of his own music assets in a deal that was seeking $250 million when it came to market, according to the sources. Those assets, which generated almost $10 million in annual income, are being acquired, apparently, in two separate deals by Shamrock Holding and Universal Music Group. Both deals are said to be close to completion and were shot by Peter Patnaugh, named partner in King Holmes, partner in scenario, sources say. The assets include mainly passive income streams, according to those sources, such as artist royalties from two of his solo albums and a share of NWA artist royalties, his producer royalties, and the writer's share of his song catalog where he doesn't own publishing, which may include the writer's share of songs on his Chronic album, which is published by Sony Music Publishing. Sources say that portion of the bundle compresses 75% to 90% of the package's revenue and is most likely being acquired by Shamrock, which owns some of Taylor Swift Masters recording, among other past accusations. The remaining 10 to 25% of the income and the package is generated and owned assets and is probably being acquired by Universal Music Group. Wow, so Dr. Dre, yo, he's selling his all his catalog, his masters, his publishing, you know what I mean? Yo, I don't know why everyone is selling their masters and all their music and their catalog. Like Lil Wayne just sold all his masters in his catalog. Taylor Swift done sold her masters and catalog. Uh, Future, he just sold his masters and catalog. So I don't know what's really going on here. You know, everybody's just selling their music. Um, maybe these artists is knowing something that we don't know at this time. But me personally, if I was Dr. Dre, I'm a billionaire. I wouldn't sell my music right now, you know, because I would want to create generational wealth. I would want to pass it on to my kids, my family, so they would have something in the future, you know. Once it's sold, it's sold, B. It's over with. You get that 200 million, and it's done for. You heard me? But, um, you know, Snoop just acquired Jeff Rowe, and he sold the chronic back to Dr. Dre. He said he wanted to do right by Dre, so he sold it back to him. And now Dre is selling all his music, including the catalog from the Chronic. You feel me? But um, yeah, 200 to 250 million, I really feel is like a very cheap price for all my music, my blood, sweat, and tears, all my hard work. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's your life, man. That's everything you created. Now you're selling it off, you know, and you can never get it back once you sell it. And that's what I'm saying, man. I would want that for my kids, you know. I'm already a billionaire, you know. I don't think he needs the money, but he might have something planned. I don't know. I don't know. But um, $10 million per year he was making off the uh, streams, so it would take approximately about 20 years 20 something years to get 250 million 200 million dollars you know but he just want to cash out right now i don't know i wonder if snoop is going to sell his catalog you know i wonder they said he acquired death row and i wonder if he's going to do the same if he's going to do it next but I don't know what's going on with all these artists selling it at this time, man. Maybe the music ain't going to be worth nothing. But if the record company's buying all these artists' music, artists ain't going to own nothing in the future. They ain't going to have nothing. 
the music is gone, B. It's just gone. But I um, wonder if Dre's going to make a new album, man. wonder if he's in the lab. Where's that Detox album, Dre? We've been waiting for it for years, man. You know? <laughs> they said the guy done got lazy. <laughs> Uh, but maybe he's cooking up some. I don't know. I don't know what's in store, man. But um, let us know what y'all think, man. Do y'all feel that this is a good move to sell his masters and his publishing and his writing shares to Shamrock Music Universal Group? Let us know in the comments if you think it's a good idea. Would you do it? Me personally, I wouldn't do it because I want to create generational wealth. And plus, if I'm a billionaire, I got bread. So I would want to leave my kids the music. You feel me? All right, man. We got to move on to the shout outs, man. I'm going to give a big birthday shout out to Mary J. Blige, man. She turns 52 today, man. That's a good look. You know, Mary J. Blige was my, is my favorite R&B singer of all time. You know. For the, what's the 411 is a classic. I love that record right there, man. Came out in uh, 92, 93. I used to bump it every day when I got that CD, man. Shout out to Mary J. Blige, man. All right, man. Make sure y'all stream Alpha King 2 on all platforms, man. Spotify, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, all the streaming sites, man. We doing big numbers right now. Make sure y'all get that. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. We out of here. One love. Peace.